This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question is asking us to calculate the percentage of single striped snails that would be expected from matings within a population that has 100% wild type snails. So if we look at these two tables, we see that in our first table, we're mating this X207 type snail. This is a snail with um, a special type of uh, stripe with a wild type snail. You're getting about 50% of the population has one stripe and 50% has no stripes. Um, and table two is when you're mating X207 with X207. So we're just gonna look at table one. So if we see that it takes, um, you have to have an X207 in order to get this 50% of the population. So it's safe to assume that wild type snails are not gonna produce this special type of striped snail. So the X207 is the one um, with the single black stripe on their shells. So we'd assume that uh, wild type snails are just gonna produce wild type snails. So there's no reason to assume that there will be single striped snails, so it's probably gonna just be zero. So it's you can't really say that it's half if half is what we got with X207. And these percentages are so specific and there's no way of arriving at them. So 0% is gonna be the best guess because we, we don't know if this wild type is gonna ever mutate into this X207.